Excuse our people tuning in. Do we have to take it down? After the pledge, you can All take right, it down. I'll do it after the pledge. Okay. That's my favorite. I think the pledge right. is Okay, we're ready to start. We're going to call a meeting to order. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Village of Royal Palm Beach. This is what we call a special meeting. It wasn't initially scheduled. And um, a certain important business matter came up that we must address this evening that's time sensitive. So we call tonight's special meeting. Now, the fact that it's a special meeting means we have a modified agenda. And I will go over that. But we will start out by standing. And please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Diane, please let the record show that all members of council are present, except Jan. Yeah, I just realized this. Okay, anybody here from Jan? Is she going to join us on the phone or she's going to miss? So let the record show that, that Councilwoman Radowski will, won't be with us for the meeting this evening. Tell us she's missing us. This is a special meeting, right? <laughs> a spe special meeting? Um, uh, as I said, it did, an important business matter did come up that uh, did have a, a, a time sensitivity to it in terms of it getting concluded. Um, I won't go into that. I'll let that be explained as we go through the presentation. But um, so with a modified agenda for a special meeting, we do still will take comments from the public on items that are not on the agenda. Now, I haven't received any comment cards from anyone, but if anyone here would like to make a comment to the village on an item that's not on the agenda, and there's only one item on the agenda tonight, now would be the time. Seeing none, I'm closing public comment to non-agenda items. And we don't have a consent agenda, so you're off the hook tonight, <laughs> Diane. Uh, we have one regular agenda item that I will now read, and that is the approval and authorization for the mayor to execute the consent to assignment of franchise agreement. In order to assign the current franchise agreement with Republic Services of Florida Limited Partnership to WastePro of Florida, Inc., in accordance with Section 36 of the franchise agreement, and with that, Stan, Help us understand what we're doing here. <laughs> I did? I, I, I figured you got more meat for this, though. <laughs> well, as we know, Republic County has a developer contract with Liberty. And they're selling all of their assets to Liberty. And they have a contract. And they're selling all of their assets um, to WastePro. Uh, in order for them to make that assignment, the village Within the, their contract, in order for that to happen, the village has to approve it, approve the assignment. And that's what these papers in the agenda package are that I gave you. Um, the representatives of both companies are here. If you'd like to talk to them and ask them any questions about how things are going to work and so on and so forth, they're right there. Uh, sure. I absolutely would like to hear from both parties. Who wants to go first? I can, I can add a couple facts to this. Right. They, um, we do a five-year contract with up to one uh, five-year renewal. Uh, they, uh, Republic had completed two years of the, of the first five years of that. Uh, if, as you remember, they, they were their, our successful uh, bidder or the last five years or 10 years ago, and we did award the, the second five years to them. So they've been our hauler for 12 years now. Uh, before that, it was waste management. The, um, the second renewal is, is, is up to us, um, and the council votes on that. And we, we, as long as customer service is there and the, and the job is being done, it's, it's most likely recommended by staff. Uh, we have no other reason to do it as long as the service is being provided and, and, and there aren't any problems. I just want to make sure to clarify something. I'm <clears throat> So you're saying at the end, of, we have three years left on the current five years. On the current five years. It is the renewal option. There's up to one, one five-year renewal. Is that option mutually exclusive? I mean, do both sides have that option, or is it mm -hmm. is our option? It's bilateral. It is yeah. bilateral, right? Yes. So at the end of three years, they could say, hey, you know, go back out to bid. Yeah, I guess they could. Okay. Never actually had that happen in the no, no, I'm 35 just, years either, of doing yeah. this, but. I'm, I just want to make sure that, that we're, we're clear that what we're really doing tonight is we're, we're solidifying the remainder of the existing contract for the remaining three years, and we have the, the bilateral option 
that Good. is in play at the end of that period. And I think that the reason it's typically not done is, is, is the way we do our contracts with the, the hauler being responsible for all the containers out there, it is a significant effort to change haulers and to, and to change all the containers out. So the way that this is working with Waste Pro and Republic, they're assuming all their Palm Beach County operations, I'm, I'm to understand, and, uh, and assuming it as is. And, and it will be virtually, we won't see the change at all. There'll be different drivers, and, the, and some, some of the Republic names will change the Waste Pro over the time. But the colors, the containers will stay out there, the, the <coughs> trucks, they're buying their trucks, and, and you'll have relabeling of them, and, and that, that's about all we'll see. And, Customer service, they're going to assure us, is, is going to be uh, as, as nice, as good as it's been with Republic over the years. So to kind of, you know, I think he said mostly everything I was going to say. He took away <laughs> the but Basically, yes, yeah, this is a, a total divestiture for all the Palm Beach County location. So um, they did purchase our trucks. They did purchase um, our building. They also um, have hired all of our uh, drivers and our office staff. The only ones that aren't coming are management staff. So we, they also purchased the phone number. So the phone number's not gonna change. So that's always a big question, what's gonna happen? The phone number's not gonna change. Um, so everything, I mean, the same drivers that have been in the city will still be in the city because they know the city. I don't think they're gonna be changing drivers unless the drivers leave. But so it's, this transition's gonna be very smooth from the 15th is when the close date is. So on the 16th, that Saturday pickup will be the first pickup that we done by Waste Pro, we we spoke about how the billing is going to go. Uh, I think we're okay, Stanley. So I'm 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 here for the next 90 days for a transition. If there's questions or problems, let us know. But I um, just want to say, Republic Services has been honored to service the residents and the businesses here. It's been fun. Thank you. Good evening, Chris Shuley, Waste Pro. Um, we're very excited about this whole transition and the opportunity to service uh, Royal Palm. Uh, we currently have been in the county since 2008. We service Area 1 for the Solid Waste Authority, approximately 47,000 homes, City West Palm Beach, Recycling, Haverhill. Um, you know, we're really excited about purchasing the uh, Republic building that they have and, and, and the, taking on all the employees. You know, it's so hard out there right now to in the labor force to bring in uh, drivers and helpers and to take on the people that Republic has had for so many years out here doing such a good job. Uh, we feel it's going to be a very smooth transition through the whole period. Uh, we're, you know, we, we purchased a lot of their trucks. Not all are going to stay, but it looks good that in uh, Royal Palm all the ASLs are staying here. So as we go through the uh, transition period within the next maybe six months, We'll start getting those trucks painted up to uh, Waste Pro standards, uh, getting all the cans uh, labeled Waste Pro with the phone numbers on there. So uh, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to service Royal Palm. All right. So I get you're going to redo the trucks, mm -hmm. but how the, the the cans? You're not going. Are you going to replace them? Are you going to give people stickers or something to put on their cans? Right now, we're going to for the commercial containerized and multi-fam uh, multi-family containerized. We're just going to put our decal on there with the phone number, and as time goes on, we're going to get those painted to Waste Pro Green, and uh, the trucks. We're, we're going to get those uh, probably like in the next six months. Get those get those painted yeah. over. What about cans for residential? Residential, um, we plan on just keeping what we have right this now. This is what they what they have now. What okay. They have right now. Uh, Keep it I've already right. was there uh, today. I, I, you know, the last couple of weeks I've been going to their to the yard almost every morning for crew out meeting with the drivers, make them feel a little more comfortable about the whole thing. But I did take an inventory today. I've already uh, been on the phone with a cart uh, company to get some carts uh, ordered for here for uh, inventory. They won't say Republic on them, obviously, but we're going to okay. keep the same color. Yeah, sure. That, yeah. All right. That, so, uh, and it's something I think down the road we need to address. If you want to put your um, logo on the, on the cart, you want to have it hot stamped or just leave them blank, it's, it's up to you, whatever. Right now, yeah. they say Republic. They say Republic. Republic okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's something that can be. Yeah. The, the, the key is, is that we want, what do want, don't want to create any disruption for the right. for the residents. Um, do you have other uh, cities or entities in Palm Beach County that you provide services for? Yeah, 
We do the City of West Palm Beach recycling. You do you do West Palm Beach? Recycling. Recycling. Okay. Haverhill. We do everything for Haverhill and Solid Waste Authority Area One, unincorporated, which is about forty-seven thousand homes. We service all of that. Area One is that? Yeah. That's right. In uh, we Anchorage, go uh, the Anchorage. basically one hundred and thirtieth right east. Okay. From North Lake uh, you know, down to Southern. Is well, your, actually down to uh, Forest Hill, but. Your long-term strategy is to grow your footprint in, in Palm Beach County, or what's your, what's your strategy there? Oh, yeah, we, we would love to expand. We, you know, uh, purchasing the Republic facility, it's a beautiful place, and we want to fill it up. So okay. we do definitely look, plan on expanding in Palm Beach County. The uh, residents in, in um, Royal Palm Beach uh, have uh, an anticipated <coughs> high level of service that they've been receiving. Can we expect to see that same level of service, if not even greater, going forward from Wastebro? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, uh, Republic has a very good, good reputation, reputation here. Yes. Uh, we have a very good reputation as well. Uh, you can call, you know, call any of the counties or cities that we service here in Palm Beach County. Um, you know, we have a um, track E system that I would like to implement, which is uh, very transparent. Calls come in, they get logged in. Okay. Uh, it can be done by a resident, by a city staff, by us, you know, whoever, but uh, it's a real time. We get to, you know, it goes right to the supervisors in the field. They get to close it out. They can attach pictures. It's a very good, like I said, transparent tracking system for uh, service. Okay. Um, I, I'd love to use it. All right. I think who was first? Selena. Um, thank you very much. And I know it was from a resident standpoint, they just want to make sure that they're not interrupted. So for instance, all their days that they're used to working, it's everything staying the same. Everything's that. staying the same. Like I said, we got the same drivers coming out here every day. Okay. So. Thanks. And then I think there are two other municipalities that have you now taken over those two that yep. Republic has. So there are other three small, others. Three others. Yeah. Okay. So that you're going to be taking that as well then on that. Yep. So and to Republic, I would just like to say for the, the many years I've lived in the village, the staff has always been wonderful. The guys are great. The service that we've received is wonderful too. So we really, I can see speaking for myself that I appreciate the, appreciate everything you've done for us. And I'd like to second that and, and say, you know, Republic has been absolutely, totally responsive on the ball. And, and by that, I can say one of the things that I found really helpful was uh, from time to time, I'd get a complaint from one neighborhood or another about the truck never showed up. <laughs> and, and they would be able to identify through tracking, and hopefully that's the same system you're talking about right now, uh, what time that truck was there, where that truck went exactly, and, and try to then sort it out, oriented toward yep. customer service and all that kind of thing. And, and it, it usually worked out pretty darn well. It really did. What's so good is that we both use Third Eye system on our trucks. That's the onboarding system with cameras and uh, GPS tracking. That's separate to what I was talking about earlier, which okay. was about complaints coming in. Okay. But we both use the Third Eye, so we're just going to, uh, we already contacted Third Eye. When the day changes, all those cameras will come onto our, our 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 account. So, we use the same system. Great. We've we've had it since uh, 2013. Great. Well, thank you. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. And I just echo, just echo what Selena and Jeff said. Republic's done a phenomenal job for for years, and look forward to Waste Pro carrying on with that. And uh, one of the things that I was just amazed about with Republic, especially, um, you know, just walking through my neighborhood and I see sometimes people put things at the curb on bulk days that are <laughs> just, I, I am, I, well, I just, yeah. there's huge I'm piles of <laughs> stuff. And then I come home and it's all gone. Yeah. And I, uh, I, 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 I am just amazed at that, that they're able to do that and all the stuff that they uh, get up. And I, I appreciate Republic doing that for the years and look forward to Waste Pro carrying that on because they, uh, in my opinion, on that front went above and beyond. And uh, I'm looking forward to you doing the same as well. But thank well, you guys. You know, we're uh, fully aware of the scope out here of what, what has to get picked up. So uh, we, you know, we know what has to get done. So. Okay. Great. Thank, thank you. you.
I do not have any comment cards on this uh, one agenda item, uh, but if anyone from the public would like to comment, now would be the time. No, no one? <laughs> I'm seeing none. I'm closing public comment to the regular agenda item number one. Um, is there any, anything, out, anything you need to give us, Keith, before we move forward? No, sir. Everything has been covered appropriately. So we're good to go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, if there are no further comments or questions from members on the council, I'll look for a motion. I'll move to approve regular agenda item number one. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? We have no opposed. Diane, please let the record show that regular agenda item number one on our special agenda for the special meeting was approved for zero. There's no further business before us this evening. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Short notice, but we got the, the job done. We stand adjourned. Thank you.